Alright, hi everyone, and welcome back to Planescape Torment. Um, let's see, uh, alright. Well, I did some, uh, some stuff while, um, off stream. I did some side quests, I did, like, the boring stuff, moved, like, around and all that. I still have a few to do, but, um, uh, I thought... Uh, that's what I'm gonna do, like, moving forward and all that. Um... Hey, we're being watched, Chief. Just look natural. Uh, casual. Yeah, uh, but... Let's do that. Um... <laughs> Let me actually change my headphones. Quickly. As we do that... I think I'll just show you guys like the main, uh, like the interesting stuff, you know, because there is a lot of reading in this game, so I can like be playing it all the time, because I can't talk for too long. Uh, but uh, Done. yeah. So last time uh, we were just uh, searching for a man named Farad, um, who apparently. Um, is somewhere around here. Uh, we don't know where exactly. Yellow fingers. This weasley looking fellow is skulking about the garbage like tattered, like a tattered shadow. Seeing you and Morta, he beckons you. Hey, Skull! Where you get the Skull, eh? Me Skull it is. Give it back to me. Uh, Morta turns to the Hiver Pike of. Uh, this is not your skull, man. You're calling me a liar, eh? Skull's mine. Mine! He mumbles for a moment, eyes rolling and darting. You thief spitting lies, I'll get you. Uh, I wouldn't try it. The man glasses at you, eyes narrow. Suddenly he attacks. <laughs> okay. Come on, guys. Oh, also, uh, I found this guy. Uh, dot com in the in one of the pubs or taverns whatever you want to call it he's a gith githrim's uh, eye i think is the name it's pretty cool he helps with combat a lot um but yeah so yeah, nothing like too interesting. So he's like a weird monk kind of guy with a very cool blade. Um, we don't know much about him yet. I'm gone. To nod. You approach the hooded brown robed man, uh, you notice that he is mumbling to himself softly and occasionally nodding. Greetings! Uh, someone comes uh, to speak to Nod. Speaks to Nod, eh? He suddenly breaks into a fit of uh, hacking, uh, hacking coughs and nods to himself. What are you doing? Nothing! Kept looking for debtors. Uh, nothing else. He sniffs, then gives another uh, hacking cough. He mumbles for a moment, then speaks again. Nothing else. Uh, need to drink, drink, drink. Okay. Where are you looking for corpses? He starts nodding without really looking at you. Haul them to a black place and mortuary. He tilts his head back and forth, then nods again. Uh, there's the dust, is the haggles, and gives drink. Drink is money, by the way, for you, for the ones who don't know. Um, uh, they take uh, the deader in, they do I, a nod, don't talk to them till the next body. He sniffs, wiping at his nose with the back of his hand. Alright, um, I had some questions. I'll give him a couple of coins, sure. <laughs> Alright. Um... 
Do you know of a man named Farod? He looks frightened and he starts to shake his head. Farod, Farod, Farod! He scratches his head. What What about him? He frowns and shakes his head as if he's not sure if he should speak, be speaking to you. Do you know where I can find him? He shakes his head, then mumbles. He glances quickly at you, then begins to murmur again to himself. It sounds like he's uttering a prayer against evil. Nah, 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 not here. In square, he frowns, as if he's unsure how to explain it. But not in the square. He shakes his head again, then coughs. Tell me about this area. He points to ground. The square, rug picker square. Trash everywhere, I Sir Grave Square. He mumbles to himself for a moment. Tell me about Sir Grave. Sir Grave's shadow long falls over Nod. He does, I Nod gives some uh, uh, his drink to Shave Grave. To Sir Grave. Sir Grave tells others in his shadow. Watches out for Nod, I He sniffs and nods slowly. Okay, I'm looking for a journal I've lost. No, 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 no. Not journal, he sniffs. Okay. Uh, uh, he shakes his head, coughs, resumes. You'd ask Nod, I? Nod ask you a question for, uh, for you, I? Okay, ask you a question. Nod has a sister, I? Amaris. Amaris. Uh, lives in the hive, away from here, away from the square. So long, long ago, Nod was separated from his sister, taken away. You've been separated from here and you'd like me to find her? Updated my journal. Uh, you don't know her? He shakes his head sadly, chewing his lower lip. If he sees her, if he does, tell her Nod your brother worries about her. Ah, he does, he worries. Alright, I'll do that for you. Nod thanks you. He does, Nod thanks you. Amaris was pretty, so pretty lives in the hive now. Fair skin she has, she she was here, here like jet, and always in blue, blue. She was always in blue. Updated my journal. Cool. Well, I know where she is, so let's go and find her really quickly. All right. She's a young woman dressed in a tight leather bodice and leggings. She smells faintly of cheap perfume and her face, though pretty, is painted with uh, garish makeup. She smiles coyly as she sees you, seeking some company, love. Um, are you by any chance some race? She stares at you shyly for a time then speaks. I was called that once, long ago. Who are you? Uh, I was sent to find you by now, your brother. He's worried about you and hoped I could tell him uh, how you were. No, he's alive? Where? Why didn't he come seek me out himself? I think he's ashamed. He's a collector now, living in poverty. 
uh, at Rackbeaker's Square. It doesn't seem quite right in the head, I mean. Updated my journal. Uh, he was a bit touched even as a child, when his name was Thodus. Oh, I've missed him so. A shame though, huh? My own work is no more proud. Ah well, at least I'm doing well for myself. Uh, for a hiver at any rate, eh? Um, I must visit him soon. She looks at you closely for the first time since you've spoken. Are you a friend of Nod's or...? Uh, of sorts, yes. Why? Could you... She frowns, biting her lip as if she's considering something. Could you give this to him? She steps close to you and offers you a pouch that looks to be about 100 copper coins. Alright, that's where I'll get it. Updated him. my journal. Okay, she hands you the pouch. I thank you. Go speak to Nod for me. And tell him uh, I worry about you. Right. Let's go back and give that to Nod. You know, this game like doesn't have like any super fancy combat or anything, but like these little quests and the dialogue and all that and the world and the exploration is what makes it like really good for me. And interesting. I really like this game. stuff I'm gone. Let's find Nod. Hello, Nod. I spoke to your sister, Amarais. You did? Not so happy he is. How's Nod's sister? Tell him of Amarais. Tell Nod, please. His excitement sets off a long series of hacking coughs. When he finally speaks again, he asks, Is Nod's sister still pretty? So pretty? Yes, she is. Um, she is a prostitute now, uh, in the hive. She's doing well, and she's worried about you. Not so pleased to know, to know his sister is alright. He looks uh, as if he's going to cry for a moment, then swallows hard. Anything more? Anything more? She said for not to hear. Yes, she wanted me to have uh, these copper commons. Uh, she wanted you to have these copper commons. She will also visit you as soon as she can find the time. Updated my journal. Nod's head stops nodding abruptly and he just drops uh, as you hand him the 100 coins. Beneath the dirt brown hood, uh, his eyes gleam with joy. Such wonderful news it is, good wonderful news, I. Uh, Nod thanks you and thanks you again. And thanks you a thousand times more, I. Glad, glad I could help, farewell, Nod. Alright. Hello, Ratboom. This man is whistling a cheerful tune and, pl and playing with a well-kept uh, fighting knife. As you approach him, he stops whistling and gives you a curious look. Ah, what do you want? I have some questions. 
Uh, alright, yeah. She's a mercenary. She's the, like the bodyguard and stuff. I'm looking for a man named Fard. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I know he's nearby though. Uh, okay. Where's your boss, Shargrave? He nods towards the large, uh, dilapidated house beside him. Okay. Cool. Well, we, before we do any of that, we need to become a maid, because if you guys notice, when you go to your character sheet, it says fighter. So you can actually choose your class, you have to be trained to become uh, what you want to be. Like this guy, he could train you to be a thief. Uh, but we, if you want to be a maid, you have to talk to this lady, Old Mabeth. Maybe. The squat old woman looks like she has uh, had all the colors bled out of her. Everything from her hair to her uh, shawl to her robe, all, uh, all are shades of grey. The only splotches of color on her um, come from several strange herbs which are tied to her belt on leather stacks. The herbs uh, make a strange oosh, uh, then she moves like a little Greetings! <clears throat> who might you be, hmm? I don't really know who I am. So you're, you're n so you not know yourself, child. She squints and then points at your chest. Hard to piece together the man beneath all that trace and scrolling scars, is it? Maybe, who are you? Uh, have you not heard of old Mabeth, the, the midwife of the square? Have you not now? She narrows her eyes. And her voice drops. Well, now you have, for I be Mabeth. You're the midwife, what do you do? Updated my journal. I said bones right, drive the cough out of the sick, yank the squealing, stubborn babes, mend the cloaks, rugs or two, make cues and herbs and other such. Cures. Aye, aye. You need uh, some cures, look at you. You wanna buy some? Do you? Uh, actually, I could, I could use some healing. Take a deep breath. Updated my journal. Hey, for healing. Cool. Before I go, I had some questions for you. <coughs> uh, let's see. I'm missing my journal. Do you know where I could be found? I haven't seen one. Uh, if it's in the square, which I doubt, uh, since folks don't have traffic much with books and the like, it's most likely been sold or stolen. Was it something important to you? A magic thingy? All glowing and sparkling with magic, eh? If so, you might never see it again. Yeah, I'm beginning to think I'll never see it again either. Um, I did talk to like a thug, like randomly, and he said that... Um, surprisingly enough, I hadn't found him before, but he said that um, he knew about my journal and it wasn't just one it was like two but it's actually not a book it's like two places one is like uh under the earth in like a mausoleum or something um and the other was um in the sensate place i think um so yeah which is true now that i think about because i've found both from my previous playthrough um let's see. Are you a witch, maybe? So not as to what I am and isn't but what should be wanting uh to know so full bad what the fuck she on but I can't even like make sense what you're saying. You want him to know so full bad for that you hound an old woman barking and sniffing for a juicy bit of gossip. I want to learn about magic, could you teach me? She laughs. Ha! No teacher, no school mistress. I'll shut up and teach like, uh, like them in the big fest hall. <laughs> There's others somewhere, I'm sure, that will spill the dark of it. Uh, you'd be wasting your time with old Mabeth. So you would. I don't agree, I think you'd have a lot to teach. Mabeth looks at you intently. Oh, I? Why do you want to learn such things? Because I may need to solve the mystery of who I am. 
After a moment, Maybeth nods. The art may help, it may not. And you must not rely on it to solve all your, pro all your problems, she sighs. Child is most like only... Um, it's only go it's only most like only going to add another chip to your pile of questions. I understand, will you teach me? Ha! Ah, she shakes her head. Uh, one should make songs rather than make magic. Songs have more beauty. Magic has been made dull, commonplace, sold by the mob of people that have tropped through it. Hmm. She squints at you. I'll teach you. But first you need to do something, uh, some things for me, you hear? Like what? My legs aren't good enough for walking about Sigil. I uh, also learned that uh, how you spell that, you say Sigil, not Sigil. Um, and there is errands I'd have you around. I need to, I need you to fetch me some herbs from the market. It's Spireward. I know where it is. Um, she takes a, a black seed from her coat and flicks it to you. Examine the Updated seed. my journal. You twist the black seed in your hand. As you do, you feel a small bite. Uh, then a small drop of blood oozes from your thumb. There are tiny barbs on the seed, like teeth. Uh, maybe the snort. Careful with it. Show it to one of the fruit merchants at the market. They'll know what to, uh, what the herbs uh, are, basically. All right. Uh, very well. Then I'll return when I have the herbs. All right. <coughs> wait, wait, wait. Was there a ring? Endure. In enduring, grow strong. All right. All right. Let's go to the market. Uh, let's do this errand. We need to find the um, herbalist for it. So. And she'll be able to teach us magic. It's not that strong magic. I mean, uh, it's better like in higher levels. So the higher level you are, the better you're gonna be. And I haven't even like used it too much. I'm gone. In the last playthrough, but what can you do? Uh, he was a fruit merchant, right? Yeah. Maybe the midwife of the square needs some herbs. Uh, sprung from this seed here. Could you help me? Uh, help me? <coughs> the man takes the seed, looks at it critically. As he, uh, as he presses it between his thumb and forehead, he winces, and a small drop of blood appears in his thumb. Ah, the seed got a bite on it. I noticed that. Uh, do you have any herbs? Uh, do you have the herbs he's talking about? He can't seem to take his eye off the seed. Lad, I don't know if there's anyone who has what your friend seeks. If we swear I've never seen such a seed before. You need someone who cultivates seeds such as this, or I have none. Well, very well, where would I find such a person? Updated my journal. Don't know, the dark of that friend. He hands the seed back to you. You'd be hard pressed to find the gardener in the hive. I see, alright. Hmm, maybe Mons uh, for trees could help for all. That's true, we know one guy that can help us. And he's. Uh, I told you I'm tapped out! Maybe Come he. On, me a yeah, I'm gonna go around with this guy. Yes, he's here. Alright. Let's quick save. Okay. Greetings, I had a question. I need some cured sprung from this seed, can you help me? Mourns for trees, uh, takes the seed from you and holds it up to his eye. What an odd seed. Are those teeth uh, along the edge? Barbs, perhaps. Uh, where did you come by it from? Old Mabeth, the midwife in the square, needs some cured sprung from the seed. Do you know where I could get some? No. This is the only seed of its kind I've ever seen. I ah, he winces, and a spot of blood glistens his thumbs. 
the barbs on it, uh, on it are sharp indeed. Perhaps you should hold. So you can't help me either? Unless you can make that one grow, I cannot again. Uh, I've never seen uh, one thing like this before. But I've never seen a seed of its like before. Okay. I suppose I'll wait for it to grow. How long would it take? I do not know. Perhaps my decision. Is there any way I can make it grow faster? Perhaps if you cared enough to see it grow. What do you mean? This is a single frame. It's gonna take a moment. Everything from spire on which seagull rests to even the tiny seed you hold there. If you believe enough, anything is possible. Focus on the seed, will it? To your surprise, there is a crack and the seed splits, twigs splitting from its surface like fingers. Uh, instinctively, you drop the seed, but the talon like twigs wrap around your wrist and will not let go. What the hell? Updated my journal. He stares at the brown I think the barbs on those branches would be more than enough of what your friend needs. Okay, I will return to here. Thank you for your help. Also, let's kill this guy. All right. You see that? All right. Let's kill this guy. Well, that was an interesting uh, little side job. I think she knew that that was gonna happen. Really? Return with those uh, herbs you wanted. Now maybe you can get this damn bramble butts off my wrist. <laughs> Is that so? Maybe it glances at the barbs around my wrist. If so, think of it then. Do so. Updated my journal. Creaking around, snapping the black barb branches and rubbing themselves from your wrist and form into a tangled ball of brass and twigs. It looks like a nest of uh, dead black snakes. Maybe it's not. Think, think it into a picture frame some such something with more structure and less angles concentrate on the barbed ball then imagine it as a picture frame uh, the branched ball creaks the twigs bending and twisting until the branches have bent themselves into a small picture frame uh, two hand pumps on a side almost unconsciously you imagine uh, shape the barbs to the back of a frame so it can be hung from the wall easily and as an afternoon uh, thought and uh, as an afterthought you move the remaining barbs to the inside of the frame so it can be picked up by the edges how is that maybe it stares at the frame for a moment and she cackles ha square enough it is good work child good work she picks up the frame and uh, scrutinizes it. This will do nicely. Is that all you wanted? Uh, you wanted it for? Aye, well, this is enough. Uh, she sniffs. Aye, but there was uh, one thing I forgot to tell you to fetch when you left last time, and it will take you back to the merchant square. It will look for a, the cloth seller. Uh, G G 
Gishkoral? I don't know how you pronounce it. Gishkor? Gishkor? I don't know. Uh, he has some rugs of mine and uh, that he was supposed to wash. And long has it been since I first asked him to do it. I see. I'll go get it for a while. I feel stronger. Hey, we'll level that. Cool. Okay, let's up our wisdom. Twenty. Cool. Let's get out of here. Um, I'm gone. I should make my charisma sixteen at some point. <coughs> How much my charisma? Uh, it's shit. It's fourteen. Okay, I'll have to up it up later. Oh, okay. I'm gone. It's fine. Okay, let's get the uh, wash clothes, I guess. I'm gone. This guy was here, I'm pretty sure. For the love of God. I hear your words. Okay. I'm gone. Hi. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm here to pick up someone's wash, maybe the midwife. Rat picker square. He blinks. Wash cloth? Yes, maybe rug picker square. Uh, rug picker? He taps his fingers as if counting something. I know, I remember. He looks up uh, a trembling finger as if he's telling you to wait. Wait for him and fetch the wash. To fetch the wash. He comes back with a flattered mass of green rags, thin as paper, yet so stiff they make uh, they look like they could <laughs> double a wooden board. The rags are so caked with a greenish lime st uh, starch that they look like it would take years uh, of soaking to relax them. Okay. Uh, how many times did you clean these? Dishcoral, washcloth, starch cloth every fifth day, washcloth, uh, starch cloth every fifth day. Damn. His eyes flicker. Uh, been washing it for many years. Always starch cloth of fifth day. It's a ritual. Okay, but they're ruined. Washcloth, it's a ritual. His voice is flat, almost zombie like. Must starts cloth every fifth day what's the point of doing it every five days when you don't need oh never mind just hand them over he nods uh, they're heavy it's like carrying uh, an armload of bricks i couldn't carry anymore so i had to drop it no Did get it. Yeah, I have it alright. Thank god he dropped something else. Okay, let's go give her the green rags. If you haven't understood yet, we're actually making like a. I had figured it out by this time when I first played it. We're making a tome for my magic spells, I'm pretty sure. Trust the gif. I say we leave him behind. I brought you. Uh, I brought your wash. I think um, he was a little heavy on the cleaning ritual, though. She takes the stacks of stra of starts green rugs from you, and she examines them critically. At least they won't tear. She sighs or bend. What was with that cloth merchant, uh, Gishkoral? Uh, his hands were all scarred, and he seemed slow. Maybe he's still turning the cloth over to your hands, tapping it with your fingers. Well, child sometimes burns with the art. One burns with the art, 
and other times the art burns ye. Is that what happened to him? Maybe it clings to her tongue. Mayhap, there is some. Uh, there's, there comes for who using the art. It's like breathing. He strolls about with pointy hats and stinkweed pipes. And there's hedge wizards and plain touched uh, gypsies and fortunate casters and half seers and midwives who flicker with the art. Them have the harder time of it. And Gyrskull was one of them. Maybe it's not. I to speak, so to speak. In some ways, he's no different now than he was addicted to the habit of the ritual he was. She sets down the stiff rugs and the clank as she places them on the floor. Um, aye, now there's one last thing I need from you, child. Of course, what do you need? Only this, I need some inks for scribing. Some ingredients uh, in one of my cookery books. I'll need you to fetch some from the uh, one of the merchants, Kosejai, her name be. Very well. Uh, I'll go. Updated my journal. Like my skills have increased. <laughs> nice, nice. All, All right. right. Last fetch quest. So let's go do that as well. And then see what we will become mates. So that's uh, the woman who is selling fish, I believe. So we can ask her if she has any ink. Right. All right. Hi. Uh, maybe she said you sell ink. She sent me to purchase some ink. She chuckles. Nay, sir, I sell no ink. I sell just fish. Uh, are you sure? Maybe the midwife, the rat picker square, mentioned you specifically. Ah, well, Kojajai, uh, Kosojai uh, was my dam's name, and my granddam's name, so it could be any of us. Yet they're both in the dead book, so only this Kosojai matters. No idea what she's on about. The midwife in the Pike Square, you say. She blinks for a moment. She thinks for a moment. Don't know her, I don't. So you don't have any... Well, I can't say that's much of a surprise. Well, she said you would be able to help me, but if that's not the case, never mind. Now hold on. Your midwife friend's not all wrong. I know how you can find... Uh, how you can get ink. That may not be the ink you're looking for. The ink I'm thinking of bleeds from the gills of a Brogota thing, it does. Okay. But you don't have this Brogota thing, right? Aye. Thing is, that fish is not for eating. It's got so horrible taste. It scalds the tongue. Uh, you can ask uh, Marian. Uh, see, Pete is here, fish shell down the street, uh, southerly way. She chuckles. Uh, she might have one of them fish you need uh, on her pole. Okay. Updated my journal. Things are right here. There she is. All right. Greetings. Hello, sir. Uh, I uh, I have some questions, please. Have you heard of a brogota fin? I was told it bleeds from. Uh, Ink from its gills. She blinks the nods. Aye, that fish, that fish is a strange one. It is. Not many have heard of it, less than one I ate it. Difficult to kill. Uh, do you have one? Updated my journal. Uh, aye, but the ink, you'll need something to carry it on. Have you a bowl or a cap, perhaps? Hmm, a tankard, or a tankard, maybe one of those merchants had one for that. Okay, so now we have to go here. This took me a while to figure out. This woman is selling weird stuff, like plates and all that. What are you selling? I need something to hold ink. Do you have a tankard or a goblet for sale? No, I just want the cheapest one, please. Okay. Updated my journal. There you go. Just do that. You get it. And 
Bak. All right. I have brought a tankard. Uh, can I get thing from the fish in it? Updated my journal. Now we have it. There it is. And with that, I think we're shut. What the ink that you wanted. Maybe it takes the tanker ink from you, then sniffs it. Prime ink, fresh it is. I. She nods at you. You've done well, child. All I've asked. Now, if you now I ask you again, after all you've seen, do you still want to learn the art? Yes. After all, the guiding goal of your errands was to test my persistence, was it not? She smiles, then nods. Yes, mayhap, child, mayhap. And that's not all, you knew who I, uh, who I had to shoot to accomplish its errand, didn't you? She nods again. Mayhap, child, mayhap. Even so, what did, you, uh, did your senses tell you about them? Morn's for Trees showed me that uh, my beliefs affect the world around me. Uh, Gishkorld uh, taught me uh, that uh, a ritual is a wasted effort if the purpose of the ritual is ignored. Uh, Miriam taught me that uh, no matter how much I think I know, there is still much I can learn from another's eyes. Okay. She's silent for a moment and walks slowly to you and touches you on the cheek. Oh, child, she says. You will be a master sorcerer one day, you will. Uh, you have the knowing of it, uh, yet uh, you've come to all my bit for help. You have... What could a midwife teach such as one? Much, baby. I want to learn all you have to teach. So you'll walk the path then, maybe poses. Well, first things firstly, just having the knack for it, uh, for the art, isn't enough. In some means of giving it focus, usually spells. The spells are usually in a book, so the art demands uh, you have spell, you have a spell book, or. Uh, it's like for your king cast spells. Yeah, yeah. Can you read? Yes. Let's test it. Can you read this? Maybe it draws forth a small tattered card. It looks like a receipt. A recipe. Examine the recipe. The writing on the recipe swims before your eyes. Its symbol twisting out of focus whenever you try to read it. Almost instinctively, you relax your eyes. Allowing them to take in the page all at once, and the symbols suddenly bleed together. The recipe lists measurements, ingredients. It appears to be some uh, minor divination. This is a minor divination, isn't it? It looks like a spell that uh, allows the user to see the nature of an item. It's identified, basically. To see whether it's enchanted or not. Maybe the size widen. Who are you to test all my bits so? Are you some fiend? N no, well, not to my knowledge. What's wrong? Updated my journal. Well, not expecting it, I w was I? She nods uh, the recipe. Plucks it out of your hand. What you say, it's written in the language of the art. If you're not imagining yet, it should be an all thrilling example of mishmash. She snaps your finger. Get clear as crystal, you pluck the sense of it right up. May help you all, uh, you tell all maybe why that is. I think I may have known once, but forgot seeing the symbols just jerk my memory. Or else natural gift you may have. No matter, no matter. You've just saved uh, seasons of your learning. You have a maybe um, herms and... <laughs> uh, I'd be looking uh, for someone to handle the chores around here I had. Well, if you need help with anything else, you can tell me. No, no, don't worry yourself about that, she frowns. Well, you can read the spells enough. Uh, let's put them in the book. Do you have one? 
Mebeth clashes around the hut and she catches the sight of the black barbed picture frame you made. She plucks it with carefully. Uh, she picks it with careful. Uh, there. She picks it up carefully and studies it. This will do. That thing. This is just a frame. Ah, uh, but so you are, child. So are you, child. Uh, still holding the frame, she picks up one of the starched rags you got from Gushkol. Uh, with a yank, she pulls off the greenish um, starred surface of uh, film. It's there. It flutters in the air like a wispy bit, a bit of cloth. Whatever uh, Gishkol uses in the wash, it works better than uh, curing st uh, stenching and stoning. Uh, on a ro uh, starting to lose my sense of speaking. Does on a normal run. Can't afford parchment. I can't. Parchment. Okay, yeah, she puts it in there. What it needs, uh, it's missing something. It needs the ink, guys. Look at the ink. All's done. Maybe it's done. Uh, drying uh, her ink stained fingernails on her robe. She tilts her head regarding the strange framed page in front of her. Uh, a page for your spell book, it is. Take it. Oh, go on. Uh, <coughs> okay, forgive me. She's gonna explain us how to do spells. Twice. Alright. Updated my journal. I appreciate it, thanks. Updated my journal. Hey, there we go. I feel stronger. Here we go, we loved up. Uh, and we're now a mage, as you can see here, which is cool. We're almost leveled up again. Um, if we go to our inventory, we'll copy that. So let's put this on. Uh, I don't know if we have anything else. Yeah, we don't have any. Oh, we do, actually. Copy that, let's copy that. Then we go to our spells. We put those in. Alright, and then we just ask her to rest. Could I rest here? There we go. And now we have spells. Boom. Alright, well, I think that's gonna be it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, leave a like if you would, and I'll see you all in the next episode, bye bye.